Baba, Manto Vekabelate. This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. Whosoever. Um, when you go to a false prophet, how many of you believe that false prophets can see? Man, if you don't believe it, you are not here. <laughs> they can see they can see remember what makes the holy spirit special when it comes to revelations is the ability to search into the deep things of god the things of men are not veiled to a false prophet so you know, can know your phone number mtn knows it too but you can know it you can know the combination of your key lock you can know the password of your atm are you are you with me you can even give the cvv number on your atm without seeing it because it can start with i move i move i move into your pulse i i undo the zip you are wondering it's still here and if your pulse are told i take a bike i go to under g i drop i take another one to pastor body it can go that way i don't know why they're always taking bikes well but that's how they move i enter your room i see a table i see a pulse i open the pulse i see a gt bank atm and cvv is three three two that's the three um, digits at the back of your card. And I see five, seven, three, two, and you are, hey, hey, hey. That your card is captured within the framework of the things of men. So don't be, uh, don't be wild. We need someone, you, 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 you have the spirit of God that you are a prophet if you can peep into the things of God. There's a lock. What ushers into that realm is not stature, it's not power, it's a spirit, and it is an astute gatekeeper. Most of what is merchandised on the landscape are the things of men. You can send a small spirit in Lagos to check the street, and they will tell you you live in Lawansin, and there's a brown gate, and you scream, No, track me in the spirit. I, I met one before. In the city of Illinois, it was an all night. Then I, the Lord said, "Come and see what people do." So I went into the meeting and I sat down, and they started. He attempted to teach scripture. I said, "No, no, that's not what I was sent to do. Let me do what I was born to do." And people healed him, and then he began to function the way he was born to do it. If he stands in front of you, you know your eyes looks like water. Stay with me. I'm closing now. You know your eyes looks like water. If I look into your eyes, I can see myself, right? If you look into water, you can see yourself. So they use elements. Just like a man will carry a bowl and peep into it. And will be seeing your cousin playing in the UK. So I said, oh, come away. <laughs> That's what he does. Once he looks into your eye, he begins to tell his story. I was sitting at the front left corner of the building. And he will come and go and see on that thing. He came four times. So in the morning, they now said, everybody wants to see the prophet. You will have paid in the bank. You now come with a teller. May you not have problems. Yeah. And in the day darkness rises, may you have found God. Yeah. I know it's easy to castigate people for going to those strange places. But if a man has not found God, he will find anything that looks like God. So pastors came from everywhere we tell us the pastor fee that time was about 65 to 100 thousand depending on the weight of your problem fruit of the womb that time was 25k and they came, they came back with children admission was 20k you pay in the bank you come up with a teller do not give you a tally to, it was a long line but as i was hurrying to come out to come back to bomoshaw two ushers came and said the prophet wants to see you I said, I don't have time. I did not pay. They said, I don't have a problem. They said, come. So I saw the long line of pastors. He looked at, you see, around, yes. And then they took me from where I was and I passed through the midst of all of them and went in. We must have been wondering what gave me the pass. You know why? He peeped into my eyes and it didn't look like his water bowl. So he said to me, four times I looked into your eyes and I could not read you. I said, I don't like to be read. I know my, my eyes is not a gate for ah he said like, what do you do i said i said pastor is more ministry in obomosho he said but but god didn't send you to obomosho i said you lie my my name is captured on the foundations of that city 
you can you in the flesh you can say i'm not an indigenous but in the spirit i am better than many indigenous so he said we should be working together i said me <laughs> so when he's passing Oboma shore is going to be branching wants to so he gave me his business card i've never called him and i'll never have reasons to call him you can't have called and be looking for him. And, and be subscribing to charlatans so but my point is that's how you're operating you see that eye that is using was designed to be sponsored by the holy ghost for visions so that he could check and bring divine perspectives but that eye has been borrowed by a spirit a spirit that is unconcerned about God's salvific enterprise because there was nothing around salvation that was that was going on there even though we had a lot of unbelievers unbelievers were treated like believers in that place it was just about the ability to see into you and to collect money from you it's that kind of ministry that no gospel is being preached the only thing that is being merchandised is a gift a gift that God can give but a gift that Satan has given to blind people from finding God. It's not my brother. So in these days of, of strange demands to be at peace, you see, it is the Spirit of God that is in us who are His that sponsors the bond of peace. What did the Bible say we should do to the bond of peace? Let me find that verse of scripture. Let me show you something, then I'll go on. I'm done. And devouring, thank you, sir. Ephesians 4 3. To do what? And devouring to keep, not to build, to keep the unity of the spirit it means the holy spirit sponsors an economy that is called unity is the one that sponsors it he goes to wale because wale is his he drops a deposit so that even if i've never met wale from adam when i meet you i know that you're my brother it happens to me all the time and sometimes when he really wants me to meet a brother he heightens the intensity of what he has deposited in him so that you begin to look familiar. And both of us are wondering, have we met before? You say no, but it looks like we have met. What is working is the spirit bearing witness with our spirits that we are the sons of God. It was, it was not I am the son of God, it's that we are. So when you meet another son of God, what gives you instructions that you are meeting a son it's not what people said about that person it's the witness of the holy ghost are you with me it's the one that furnishes the unity which is the bond of peace your call is to keep it it means wherever you find it active keep it don't build it if the holy spirit is not bringing witness that this is a son of god i will wait with that business till that witness comes because the bible says what is not of faith is sin it means until there is a substance that is furnished in my heart that you belong to Jesus I'll be careful around you no matter what you do that's how I move around so people invite me to meetings and the first thing I'm doing I've even seen people invite me to meetings I've not responded I've done a flyer I tell them oh, see I don't I'm not afraid of flyers I've, I've not discerned you I've not discerned you because I've been invited to a meeting before in the early days of my invitations and because the person reached out to a brother that I could not say no to I said I will come for the meeting then we went for damn last meeting and the man came to Akumba and to the glory of God he approached unto me I'm the one that invited you oh I heard that you were here that's why I came I said God bless you how are you doing sir when I shook his hand the Red flags went up everywhere. It's darkness. So I told my son, 
when I went home, I called and said, sorry, sir, I'm not coming to your meeting. He said, I, I, I think that you, you don't hear God again. I said, good reason for not coming to your meeting. How do you want to invite somebody who does not hear God? Shabby, you say that you should, I said, I checked and I found out. I'll ask you a question. He said, what's the question? I said, what's, what spirit is the foundation for what you call ministry? It's five years and he's still looking for an answer. I found it. I ministered in the lorry too. Timo knows the church. Abby. The man had to send one of our brothers in the church. Thank God has even taken that our brother out of the place. Sent him to us to come and ask us. Now what do I feel about him? I told the guy point blank. I said your, your man of God is not of God. And I told him that night in my room. I said this question you came to ask me. The Holy Ghost said it's not your question. It's your man of God who is trying to find out if I found him out. He said he's bringing me back. I said he'll be afraid to bring me. And he has not invited me. No, no, no. If you are led by the spirit, you are deceivable to the degree that you want to be deceived. So all this noise of just hang out with everybody. No. If the Holy Spirit has not forged the witness, it means there's no unity anywhere. Stay your side. Wear your collar. I won't disturb you. But don't call yourself my brother. Because not everybody behind the pulpit is fathered by God. That's where we are. Certain men, according to scriptures, have crept in amongst us. And God we expose and deal with. We are praying that God should be merciful. That's what me I'm praying now. I stole my biological father this morning. That I'm praying that God should be merciful. I do not want any charlatan exposed. I want them to find Jesus. Because potentially they are our brethren. But right now they are not. That guy in the morning used to be popular. I don't think he's that popular again. Because it's only what the Lord do it that is forever and ever. How can you say after, after, after three years or two years that the ministry is still standing? I speak in parables. We will be alive. He later fit on money. He renew who? How did I get here, Jai? My house, my house. Now, every mortal is a house. You are either a house of God or you are a temple of Belial. That's what scripture says. And there is an emblem by which the house of God is known, a badge of identity. It is that his house, according to, give me that scripture. There's a way it was rendered. I want it. My house shall no no is this one I no no this is not the verse I gave you I gave you the mark account mark 11 17 there's a way it was rendered okay my house shall be called of all nations it means it's not you that we call it a prayer house the nations will look for the most dominant expression and they will call that house by its most dominant expression is the nations that we give it a name so when the unbelievers pass if it's a house of dancing if that's the most dominant reality they are supposed to name by by consciousness he says my house shall be called of all nations it also means that if you find this house in u.s if you find this house in cambodia if you find this house in afghanistan if it is his house, well, no matter the nation that it is, it will be called the house of prayer. So if you move from Nigeria and go to another country and you become a house of dancing, it means it's no longer his house. Because the nomenclature by which the house is known is not geography sensitive. Is somebody getting me? That house is not just a garden like this. That house is also you. Are you with me? Does he live in you? It means when people look at you, your most dominant expression is that you pray. If there's any other thing that is dominant by which they call you, we can put a question mark open for investigation on your status as a house of the Christ. My house shall be called of all nations 
the house of prayer and in case we find out that your claims to be in a house of the Lord is wrong whether for individuals or corporately it means that there's only one other possibility that you can enter into it means that you are a den of tips a platform of buying and selling which is a Babylonian substitute for the agenda of God so are you a house of prayer if we come into your hostel what will be the most dominant identity that you have a table of exchange a plane of transaction or a house of prayer in my work with God I found out that every time I stumble on the ought to and I find out that there's a gap by investigation I plead with him along only one line in prayer Lord make me what you desire that's why I want to close tonight in case you have not arrived at the house of prayer can you plead with him in a few minutes as we close tonight that he will make you there are technologies expressed by the Spirit of God by which men can be made into that which gives God pleasure <laughs> ah. Paul's testimony was that in the day that the new covenant was to be stewarded there was an activity of God that established them as accurate ministers and has made us who has made us able ministers of the new covenant everything that a believer takes on by identity is designed to bear the markings of the makings of God oh, make me a house of prayer let all the resources that are available in you to convert a man from sleep mode into active praying mode be released in my direction let the stirrings that make for robust prayer experiences let them rest upon me let them be walked in me oh maboko ko sakapatata ila bio santo ko pebri sola kuata and come sento ka babateta ila bie kusko petusa sime kombe katombe karia sabo is someone crying out tonight we close this service acknowledging him as the maker of all that is made for there was nothing that was made without him the testimony of every man who has become a house of prayer it will be god made me